With the help of thorough research into the Valorant Pro scene, I'll be running you through the most popular mice used by the biggest teams such as Sentinels, 100 Thieves and the winners of Valorant Champions 2021 Ascend. With the ultimate goal being to decide which mouse is statistically best for your grip style and the way you play. We'll begin at a time where Valorant was extremely new and most of the pro players had migrated over from CSGO, which was an esport that was largely dominated by Zowie mice. Even now, a lot of the current pro players, including CNED, Defo and Nats, are still using them, and that's largely due to their ever-reliable shape and feel. Ever since Zowie released their first gaming mouse back in 2009, casual players and pros alike have been very loyal to them, citing the wide variety of shapes and sizes that they come in as the reason for this. There isn't really a specific model of Zowie mouse that's used across the board in the Valorant Pro scene, as a lot of the choice in which of them to use comes down to the player's personal preference. CNED opts for the Zowie ZA12, while Nats prefers the Zowie S2 for example, so it'd be hard to give you one model and say, here, use this one. That being said, seeing as palm and claw grips are extremely popular in most FPS games, I can tell you that the Zowie SC1 and the Zowie S2 are both brilliant choices. If you're looking for comfort and reliability over a more modern mouse with a ton of cool features and top-of-the-line sensors. The term tried and tested is very applicable to these mice, as they've certainly withstood the test of time. They're reasonably priced, which makes them more accessible to the casual player, but as you can see by the wide range of pros that still use them, they can definitely perform very well too. The only problem with Zowie and their mice as a whole is that they haven't really kept up to the current standards set by some of the other brands that we'll talk about later. Whether it be their subpar sensors or their lack of a braided cable, there are quite a few small details that make them lag a little behind the others. However, if you look back at the history of the CSGO scene, you'll find that before 2020, most of the pros were using some form of Zowie mouse, and they're still ever-present today. Whether or not Zowie produces a wireless mouse in the future is a topic that is widely discussed in the gaming community. It seems strange that they haven't released at least one wireless model, but I guess if it isn't broken, then don't fix it. We'll move on now to a mouse that's used by some of the most popular Valorant players, including Tens and Hiko. That mouse is the final mouse Starlight 12, and is possibly the most extra mouse that you can get your hands on. But that's if you could get your hands on it. It isn't widely used in the pro scene by any means, but it's worth giving a shout out to as it's pretty infamous. Originally it retailed for around $190, but after selling out around 45,000 units within 20 minutes of releasing, you'd now be lucky to get one of these for under $500 from scalpers. Weighing around 49 grams for the medium size and 47 grams for the small variant, you'll struggle to find a lighter, or to be honest, a cooler looking mouse elsewhere. It will never dominate the pro scene due to its rarity, but if you use a claw grip like Tens does and have a spare $500 lying around, then why not give it a try? Now to look at a mouse that has been dominating the pro scene, we have the Logitech G Pro X Super Light. Currently this mouse is everywhere, with 7 of the 10 players involved in the 2021 Valorant Champions Grand Final using it. Zeke, Bonecold, Keyles, Starzo, Chronicle, Shados and Redger all dominated with the Super Light, with 4 of these 7 players being on the team that went on to win, Ascend. It's genuinely insane that this many pros use this exact mouse, when there are so many factors such as shape and size that go into selecting what brand or model suits you best. So why does the G Pro X Super Light dominate? Well, it's an incredibly light wireless mouse weighing in at a measly 63 grams. It uses Logitech's light speed technology, which makes it one of the most responsive gaming mice. And also it has a very universal shape, allowing a comfortable fit for claw grips, palm grips, fingertip grips, and whatever other weird grips that you can come up with. Statistically speaking, the G Pro X Super Light is the best gaming mouse on the market, which is backed up by the sheer amount of pros using it right now. It covers most grip types and uses the best internals available out there. On May 10th, 2022, Razer released their newest installment into the Viper series, the Viper V2 Pro. This mouse seemingly has it all. A beloved shape continuing on from the old Viper mice and an insanely light weight of just 58 grams, making it one of the lightest wireless mice available. The Viper series did a lot for Razer as it firmly put them back into the competitive picture with the Viper Ultimate and the Viper Mini both being received extremely well by the community. Since the V2 Pro's release, we're already seeing pros adopt this mouse, with both Doma and Marv being pictured using one. The fairly neutral shape of it allows for an array of different grip types to feel comfortable, so I imagine over the course of the next 12 months, we'll see more and more pros start to use it. 
Once again, if you're a claw grip player, then this mouse seems to be perfect for you. However, it can certainly support palm grip pretty comfortably as well. At the end of the day, the only thing you need to know about this mouse is that it has the word pro in the name, which, as we've seen before, instantly makes a mouse top tier. Also, to get the weight down to what it is, a few features from the previously loved Viper Ultimate had to be taken out, including the second switch to either turn it on or adjust the DPI, and the wireless charging option from the underside of the mouse. Whilst these may seem like steps back in terms of functionality, they were necessary alterations to make sure that they could compete with or even outdo the current market of professional gaming mice. Within the next year or so, I'll be shocked if this mouse isn't being widely used within Valorant's pro scene, as it simply ticks all the boxes of what a professional gaming mouse should be. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see the V2 Pro and the Super Light go up against each other, then go ahead and click the link on screen now.